A survivor of sexual assault gets her day in court nearly 30 years after her alleged attack. At Fox Carolina News, the only station at the Spartanburg County Courthouse today as the trial of a suspected serial rapist got underway. Investigators say Gregory Fry's DNA links him to a dozen sexual assaults across the state. Today's trial is for a case that happened back in 1997. The state says Fry broke into a Spartanburg woman's apartment and assaulted her. He's charged with that assault, kidnapping, and burglary. Fox Carolina's Grace Rumpel was in court today when the victim took the stand. So, Grace, what did she have to say? Well, the state says that this woman has waited 27 years to have her day in court. And when she took the stand today, she recounted the entire assault for the jury, saying that she got a very clear look at her attacker. And she says that her attacker is Gregory Fry. However, the defense pushed back on that, saying that she never once described her attacker with that main characteristic they say that Fry has that would be most identifiable. And that's the fact that he only has one hand. Now, the state opened up in their opening opening statement saying that this took a long time to get to trial. Solicitor Barry Barnett says although they were able to collect DNA from the victim of her attacker, they never found a match until 2019 when they used DNA de genealogy trees to match it to Fry. Now today we heard from law enforcement officials who worked the scene and people at the hospital who were involved in collecting the sexual assault kit, that DNA evidence. But the witness was on the the victim was actually on the stand the longest. Now, we're not going to be naming her or showing her, but the state did ask her, did you see him, that's Fry, leave the apartment? She said, yes, I saw his back when he went to the door. The state then asked, after he left the apartment, what did you do? And the victim says, I grabbed a golf club and just stood there with it, shaking, really scared. Now, the victim says that she did get a good look at her attacker, both when he was crouching at the end of her bed and like you just heard there when he was leaving the room. She even worked with a sketch artist to put together a composite. But on cross-examination, the defense pushed back, saying, do you believe that if you had seen the person you described in your room that day on April 4th, if you had seen him in your room, if you had seen him the next day, would you have recognized him? And the victim says, I don't know. Now, not only is that DNA kind of connecting, the state says connecting Fry back to this case, we also know that Fry lived at the same apartment complex as the victim when this incident happened. So we're expecting the state to hit on that more tomorrow as well as walk the jury through the genealogy side of this, how they got that DNA linked back to Fry. So, of course, we're going to stay on top of this case. But for now, live in Spartanburg, Grace Runkle, Fox Carolina News.